Hi, my name is Dave Ryan, and I'm here at the AIDS 2031 Young Leaders Summit representing the Global Health Corps. And I'm incredibly excited to be here because our organization, the Global Health Corps, got started last year out of the AIDS 2031 Young Leaders Summit. Um, and it's an, initi an initiative to send young leaders from around the world to work with organizations serving in global health. And um, I'm here with Heidi Larson, who's the director of AIDS 2031, um, who put together the, the whole project that organized the, the summit that led to the creation of our organization. So I'm excited to, to be here with her too. And, and just wanted to ask if, um, you know, organizations like Global Health Corps and other initiatives that we're talking about here, such as the 5% for the Future Initiative and the Youth Fund, um, were part of the core goal of AIDS 2031. And if, and if Heidi, you're kind of excited about the outcome of, of this meeting and of, and of the last one. Yeah, I think that the, the tangible things that have come out of last year is the Global Health Corps, which is getting young, young people partnered with uh, developing countries around the world in their health efforts. Uh, this year, our tangible thing that's coming out is this 5% for the future, 5% of AIDS investment to go for youth-led uh, organizations and initiatives and then to explicitly set up a youth fund to further support that. And I think the kind of things that you're doing are exemplary in terms of youth leadership. I think if we can move this, or when we move this forward with really getting a good percentage of, of funds invested into youth-led, that's not youth organizations, that's youth-led organizations. I think what we need to do, and one of the shifts we're trying to think as we move forward with the AIDS response towards 2031, is really making what we're saying tangible. Not just talk about youth leadership, but actually show ways that can happen, showcase these efforts, and invest in them. And I think the, the message this year is invest in youth leadership. And I think by investing in it also, it, it's it's going to make organizations look at their own internal structure and say, do we have young voices here? Because if we're going to shift and reinvest and remobilize the prevention agenda, you can't do it without youth engagement.